Inman article, bracket number two, open door is where Zillow offers was one year ago. This is an article by Mike Del Preti. A year ago, Zillow offers was in a similar position to where open door now finds itself. And Zillow shut down its eye buying operations. We know that happened a year ago when they were in this position. Uh, here's why the path forward might be different this time. So Del Preti is not predicting that Open Door will go the way of Zillow offers and shut its doors. Open Door obviously has cornered the eye buying market. They, it, when it when it comes to prop tech around eye buying, not your local flipper or your local you know buyer of properties direct from consumers, but the big you know company in the marketplace, Open Door, that they, they own it all. All right, so let's mm -hmm. just look at quarter three. 2022. Let's compare it to quarter three, 2022, uh, 2021 21. rather. So mm -hmm. open doors quarter three this year to Zillow offers quarter three of 21. And we can put this uh, table up, Bobby. So net loss open door this past quarter three, $928 million they lost in quarter three, almost a billy. Hopefully they bought one of those Powerball tickets. I mean, yeah, that's over a billion you, right now. Did you see the scandal? last night well it's not a scandal it sounds like all 48 lotto divisions have to have all of their numbers in before yeah. they can pull it and one state did not biggest, have all of their sales in i think it's the biggest power ball drawing of all time Ever, and uh, now they, time. they did they delay it on they election it. day i it, love it's it just, it's just crazy to me okay so open door almost a billion dollar net loss in quarter three 2022 zillow offers 422 million quarter three of 21 so more than half, okay, yep. for uh, of a net loss for Open Door. Write downs: five hundred seventy-three million Open Door, three hundred four million Zillow offers. Net loss per home sold, quarter three of twenty-two for Open Door, forty-two thousand dollars net loss per home sold, thirty-nine thousand for Open Door. So very similar on per home sold, yep. the net wow. loss. Write write down per home, thirty-four thousand to thirty. 1,000. Last week, Open Door announced that it lost nearly a billion dollars during the third quarter of the year. Uh, the result of selling too many homes at a loss. That'll do it. That, that will do it. That might, <laughs> that might do it, Open Door. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, so why it matters exactly one year ago, Zillow faced a similar situation and they subs uh, subs sequentially, sub sequentially shut it down. The cause and effect in each case is similar with nearly identical financial implications, but the paths forward differ. Okay. So Zillow's net loss of this $928 million for uh, the quarter is more than double, uh, but it's a matter of scale. They, they sold twice as many homes. So they're just selling more homes mm -hmm. at, at this, at this net at this loss. loss. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, also the write down per inventory is nearly identical, but obviously more homes. Okay. Uh, here, here's what I think. Nicole. Yep. Uh, I, I think it's it's almost impossible for another eye buyer to come in and like take the brand that Open Door has. You can, you might argue that well, well, who wants this billion dollar loss in a in a quarter? Okay, you, you could definitely argue that. I think that what I've been saying has been right all along. This isn't a market maker. This isn't going to take over. 50% of the market. All of those predictions were absolutely insane. Everybody insane. who's invested in Open Door is, is feeling the brunt of it. Zillow, it's a win here. They got out early. Mm -hmm. I think Zillow is going to be somebody in, in the next five years when you look at their stock that you're going to say, okay, they've really come back in a big way. They've got Open Door right where they want them as a partner. Open Door needs Zillow. They need the the leverage that Zillow has of being a platform that everybody uses and they don't have to be in the risky business of eye buying. Right. I, I said this on a previous real word, open door could maybe use these losses now to recoup cash and come back into the market. We're going to hear starting at least as early as tomorrow that the recession has started in this country in a big way. We, we had a technical recession. Everybody swept that under the rug and now the fed and everybody else we get past midterms, they're going to say, hey, the recession's a real thing and housing is at the front of it. And so you may see, you're likely to see, a lot of forecasters are saying you will see deals in a lot of cities, okay? 
Phoenix is one of those areas. And you might see Open Door come back into these markets and buy even more inventory at a discount uh, with the money that they just took a loss on, but they recouped cash, okay? Uh, key learnings. It's very challenging for an iBuyer to respond to sudden market volatility, okay? So that this would go against what I just said, especially changes in home price appreciation or it points towards why they took these big losses. At the desired scale I buyers want to operate at, the results of downward pricing pressure can be financially catastrophic. Asset light, not buying the actual house is taking more prominence in the evolution of I buyer business. So actually not buying it, but this po uh, power buyer model has been popular with some of these uh, newer companies. While Zillow offers folded, Opendoor has no choice but to continue on in a challenging and volatile market, making adjustments to his business model as it goes. One thing is clear to me, mm -hmm. going forward, any iBuyer and Opendoor leading the charge is going to have to charge exorbitant fees to the consumer to one day be profitable. Right. This is good for us as agents. Open door being an option for consumers to look at and say, okay, I have one buyer here. I'm not testing the market. I'm not getting the highest price possible for my home. And oh, by the way, I have to pay an extremely high fee because said company, Open Door, has to make up for all these losses and someday, one day down the road become profitable. This is good for the agents that know how to explain this to consumers and know how to show other options to the people in their community. I think what's happening with Open Door opens up huge opportunity for the agent community. Nicole, I think Open Door's always been a racket. This is further proving my point of that. Your thoughts? I 100% agree. The whole, th it, yeah, I mean, a billion dollar loss. I, I don't even know how you continue on, but. Yeah, no, the whole thing's been a racket from the very beginning. I agree, though. I mean, I we've I mean, we've been talking about this for I mean years, though, Byron. You know, somehow I've been laughed at for years on YouTube by market maker experts. Well, that have invested yeah, their money I mean, Inman. Open Door. I think in Brad one year thought that that the iBuyer. I think that was 2020, right before the pandemic. He, that was one of his predictions that iBuyer was going to be a majority. But but regardless, I do again. We've been saying for at least a year or two years that you know. Some Somehow having your own creative sort of open door option within your business should absolutely be part of hey, you, your marketing. How, so how can you undercut them in your local market? They're, listen, they paid $63 million as a fine. Their fees better be transparent going forward. So you're going to have the opportunity to know transparent fees, be able to undercut them, be able to show your value as the local expert and why you the consumer can benefit more using your services. There's right. so many advantages to a big company like this stumbling their way through learning the real estate market with a bunch of degrees that don't know the market making decisions for them. You know, a bunch of paper university plaques are deciding how they buy and sell homes. Oh, and their and their algorithm, of course, that there's that too. Hey guys, appreciate you checking out this episode of The Real Word. If you want the full episode, go over to the Broke Agent YouTube. That's where we're hosting the full podcast. If you want to continue to see the segments broken out and the short clips, stay right here on The Real Word YouTube.